Yo, what's up guys, Nash here. This video format is suggested by Nicholas Templo. If you don't like this deck explanation, you can skip ahead for the gameplays. Let's go. This deck is one of the best rogue deck because it has surprise element to it. The core cards are Cyber Dark Age, Cyber Dark Cannon, Ling Ling, Lunar Light Crimson Fox, and Power of the Guardian. The remaining slots are tech cards. Ideally, you may want to go for back row removal cards like Cosmic Cyclone and Dice Food. For gameplay video that you will see later on, I use Cosmic Cyclone for pay to win deck and Dice Food for free to play deck. Why these two cards? Because both has cost to it and will trigger your skill which is Cyber Dark style. Cosmic Cyclone pay 1k and banish a back row card but for Dice Spoon, if you roll 1 or 6, you take 1k damage. That's enough to trigger your skill. That's why it is a great replacement for Cosmic Cyclone. Other than that, you will destroy spell or trap cards on the field including yours. Just take note of that. Next. Protection cards, basically monster destruction, monster removal cards, bot control trap, and combo block trap. What are the cards? Dimension Prison, Sakiretsu Armor, Drowning Mirror Force to prevent OTK, Canadia, Floodgate, and a cheaper version of Floodgate, Memory Loss for combo block. Not forgetting Wall of B for controlling the bot. Why no regular key break or karma card? Any effects that requires you to discard is a disadvantage because this deck combo relies of sending a card from the deck for its effect. Talking about skill, the great thing is you don't have to farm for it. You just need to complete a mission to unlock it. All you have to do is to summon Cyber and Dragon and win against Judai or Jaden. So how to play this deck? There are two win cons for this deck. Firstly, by poking your opponent and with Ling Ling, you can poke your opponent twice. Secondly, Lunar Light Crimson Fox. I mostly win games just by sending Crimson Fox to the grave. Its effect can reduce your opponent monsters to zero. You can use it offensively when attacking your opponent monsters or defensively when you don't have bot dominance. That's it for this deck. I hope you have fun playing it. Do let me know if you like this video format. Also like and subscribe if you haven't already. Enjoy the gameplay and I will catch you guys next time. Peace. <laughs>